Hello. It's time to correct something I think I've been taking for granted and it's time to fix it. Age of Extinction Drift. It was bound to happen sooner or later and I've been keep well, I've kept using him as size comparison and it's not fair. Because not a great figure, but not a terrible figure. And I think the distinction needs to be made. Especially considering they've just painted him red and re-released him, which I think is incredibly lazy. Well, whatever. So, this is Drift. Do I need to do a size comparison? I've used him as a size comparison for, you know, months and maybe even a year. I don't know. But we'll, we'll use a size comparison. And for argument's sake, we'll use Robots in Disguise, uh, in disguise Drift. Okay. So, apart from the spoiler, he's... Roughly the same size as the Robots in Disguise version. Uh, different shape, obviously, but roughly the same size. Maybe ever so slightly shorter. And slightly... Uh, what's it called? Narrower? I say, slightly not wider. Because I've only just woken up and my brain's not working. Yay! <coughs> there he is. And if you didn't know by now, this is what is known as a Bugatti Veyron, which usually looks better because the uh, spoiler can slide in and out. Whereas this, for uh, purposes, is permanently out, which is slightly sad. But even then, because uh, if you imagine that, how sleek this would be without that. Oof. Oof. Yeah. But even then, it's still quite pretty. These are, This uh, actually comes out automatically when you go in too fast to... Uh, extra downforce on your rear end, so you get more traction. But still, um, <clears throat> so that means he's going really, really fast all the time, even when he's parked, or it's broken. Uh, so here he is, and he, yeah, he's, he's nice, he's got all the little detail, you know, liquor silver would have been nice there, but quite frankly, who cares? Uh, you know, headlights, grill, all the rest of it, it's all very well nicely done. Little really black Blossobot symbol there, petrol tank. Another petrol tank. Maybe it needs it. It's a gas guzzler. Who knows? There's a little sort of... Looks like a backwards three, but I'm guessing it's the Bugatti symbol there. Split, because it's over the two pieces, but whatever. And yeah, he said he's, he's quite a nice little thing. You might be able to just make out the face in there. But... Oh, well. Oh, well. And look. Swords! Because <clears throat> I've never seen swords on the bottom of a transformer before. That would be foolish. One, two. <clears throat> Has swords. Right, so we pop the swords off. Transformation. I haven't done this for a while, I need to actually remember. Right, so you pop these side pieces loose. And just double hinge them up onto there. Pop the side piece loose, double hinge onto there. Ah. And you. I think? Yeah. You get hold of the bonnet and you just sort of pop it loose from the wings. Oops. Oops. Is it? Sorry, I'm trying to remember this myself. Aha! There you go. Right. So the bonnet piece, uh, sorry, the very front grille on this piece does se stay. This piece comes separate. And it should separate this, which actually pegs on in there as well. So you got this. The entire alt mode. As is tradition now. <coughs> should bring this up slightly. Bring this up slightly. There we go. So you've got this, and for argument's sake, there's a double hinge under here. Double hinge that up onto there, and that we'll deal with in a minute. And we'll rotate it while we've got the chance. So this is the front of the car, because it's still got the grill. And then this is just mess on top, but whatever. So we shall bring out the arms, and bring them down on a hinge that's in there. Just out slightly. Out slightly. 
then you can bring this whole piece down and it'll bring me with it to the back of the, the head which you then bring forward then get this bonnet section here and fold it underneath which can be tricky it can catch on things you bring out this hinge from there and it goes onto this big square tab on the back of the head it just goes onto that it doesn't go on there amazingly well but it does go on there so it's on there <coughs> and you separate the legs try and ratchet through the hips uh, fold this down which folds the spoiler in so uh on that big silver hinge, I feel like this is a very messy review, I apologise. That silver hinge there, rotate it up there. And you bring these side panels out, and just fold that in. So bring it back, and fold that in. And there, you have drift in robot mode. Nope, 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 stay, 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 stay there. <laughs> that was my fault, sorry, my fault. My fault, my fault. Stand. Oh. <coughs> and he's, well, if you didn't know when you didn't watch the film, uh, Age of Extinction, um, they've made him very, very Japanese, and his face is effectively just completely smeared in gold. A little bit of texture or detail would have been nice there, but they've just smeared it. <coughs> and quite irritatingly, the, the character is really... Really not good. Keeps calling Optimus Sensei, which is really painfully, painfully depressing. But whatever. There must be some form of love in there, I guess. But he's got a very sort of samurai esque style helmet with a little skirting around the sides. He's got a samurai style sh shoulder pads and uh, thigh pads. And that's about it. Other than that, it's just. Strange car mode with car kibble. These side bits, they're not really there for any reason, they're kibble. Massive backpack, effectively kibble. And even these side pads, which look kind of cool, when you actually move them out of the way, that's his arm. His arm is incredibly weedy. Like, ever so weedy. Which is a little bit sad. <coughs> and me. Now... Robots in Disguise Drift has got two swords. Classics Drift has three swords. This guy has one, two, three, four. Now, people like to rotate these um, so they're sticking up. I'm going to do it one side to show the difference. People like to do it so they're sticking up. And then put, like, because you can store the other swords in these two pegs back here. Uh, you can put them in like that, which is the way I do it. Or if you must, you can probably put them in like that. I don't know why you would, but you can. So people like to sort of do this kind of thing with him. Now, if he's reaching for blades, you know, if he's reaching back for one over his hand, he's not going to grab that. I mean, all right, that was probably me just being daft. I don't think people actually do that one. But still, why would you reach back and grab the blade itself? I know the handle in there is kind of sunken, but that's so he can get to his bigger ones more easily. But I don't know, that's a bit strange. Um, these do come out, and they are just tiny little daggers more than anything, and you can put those in his hands. I very rarely to never put them in his hands, because I keep using Drift as a size comparison, so he stays in row, uh, in car mode forever. But you can put the swords in his hands. You can do that. And, there. and they are quite nice swords. Quite nice indeed. And he's got... Uh, considering how small this is, he's got... Um, elbow swivel? I don't know. Forearm swivel. He's got ratcheted elbows. I've just said the word and I completely forgot. And he's got a little bit of in and out with the wrist. 
So he's got the articulation. He's got forward and backwards legs, although they only go so far because of the massive sh uh, hip pads. He's got a swivel. He's got a knee, which ratchets. And a little bit in the foot because of the uh, transformation. Um, no waist, heads on ball joint, blah blah blah. You know how it works. And um, he's not very tall. Granted, these figures were tall. Uh, what else have I got? <coughs> come here, come here, come here. Dark of the Moon's uh, star screen. So yeah, he's he's quite ditty. He's just he's quite dinky. He's not a, he's not a tall figure, which is a shame. But he's not bad. I'm not sure how good he'd look in red and black. That's a personal preference. If you like that sort of thing, then you are welcome to get the new version. For like twenty three pound in the UK, or you just go on eBay and see if there are any of these lying around. Because I could perfectly understand why certain people might not be in love with him. I actually quite like him. I mean, I wasn't looking forward to him. I got him because there was nothing else I could get hold of at the time. It was that awkward time when all the figures you were yeah you wanted you couldn't get hold of, and all the figures you were a bit eh were just plentiful and filling up all the shelves. So you end up getting a few of them, and this is one of the ones I got. But I actually quite like him. I do. I genuinely do. He's actually quite nice. Um, I was just going to do a massive all three drift reviews. And yes, they do look quite nice together as one big sort of like drift combat team. But quite frankly, transforming this one's a nightmare and I didn't want to do it. So, drift. He's actually quite nice. He's he's weird, he's daft. If you know what you're getting and you still like it, then you're going to like it. If you look at this and you think, ah, I'm not sure about that, not sure about that, then you probably won't like it. It's as simple as that. There's no, you know, there's no black, it's black and white. There's no grey area. I mean, even the backpack, which is reasonably flush to the body, but it is just like the entire car mode. It, it is quite lazy. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, that's uh, an official figure. This is a figure who has been relegated to size comparison duty for quite some time. I'm going to have to pick another one now. Hmm. But that's for me to think about, and you can all go about and enjoy your day. So I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you... In the next one. I've got some pretty good stuff at the minute for you guys. Ooh, you are spoiled. <laughs> Bye.